If you just got your motivator, the first thing to do is to pull out and discard the pull tab that keeps the battery fresh during shipping. If the pull tab was removed earlier and the screen is now blank, your motivator is in sleep mode. To wake it up, press and hold the M button until the display comes on. You're now at the home screen. You can always tell you're at the home screen by the blinking display and the word regular, average, or random at the bottom of the screen. The home screen is where you set the time interval. The time interval is the amount of time that will pass between vibration signals or prompts. So the shorter the interval, the more often you'll get prompts. To enter the time interval you want, first use the select key to move through the fields, hours, minutes, seconds, hours, minutes. Then use the scroll keys to enter the value you want for the field that's blinking. I'm going to set this motivator to send signals every two minutes. Zero hours, two minutes, zero seconds. By the way, if you'd like, you can get a preview of what the vibration signal will feel like by pressing the test button. When you're ready to start prompting, press and hold M until you see the motivator counting down. The motivator will keep sending you vibration signals as often as you've asked it to, in this case, every two minutes until you tell it to stop. When you're ready to stop prompting, press and hold M until the home screen appears. When you're not using the motivator, to conserve power, it will automatically enter sleep mode after about 15 seconds and the screen will go blank. When you're ready to start prompting again, first press and hold M until the home screen appears. Then press and hold M again until you see the countdown. The motivator will remember the last time interval you set and it will keep using that time interval until or unless you decide to change it.